Hey y'all, it is Thursday. Are you two right, Elizabeth? And What's up y'all? It's March 2nd, Thursday, and I'm at the airport. I was gonna vlog this morning, but it was a lot. I had to drop off Evie, go to the post office. I went to the post office at like 9.30, and it was closed. It was like damn near 10 o'clock. How the post office closed? They was like, oh, we don't got nobody to work. What? Anyway, so. I made it to the airport on time. I am sitting at my gate, getting ready to board to go to Dayton, Ohio. This weekend, I will be filming um, tonight's conversation podcast. You guys might have seen clips of me on it before, but it's super fun. It's like a podcast with a bunch of different male and female, and we um, just talk a bunch of stuff. So look who I ran into at the gate, Mr. Let It Go. You already know, he be talking crazy too. Me and him, we have very polarizing different viewpoints. But the dope thing is that we can always agree or disagree and still keep it cordial. So we were just sitting here already having a mini podcast episode. Yep, already. At the gate. <laughs> but I'm like, so why don't men change? But that's a good point. You made a good point. He said that men don't want women to change. So here's the thing. The biggest problem with men and women is women get mad at men when we don't change men get mad at women when they do change i agree on we that don't point. want y'all to change at all we want y'all to say the same size same personality everything but y'all never do that and that's the problem we have with y'all i don't think they i think y'all do be changing sometimes y'all be we make nah, more money they get fat y'all get they worse. go bald they y'all get worse. They things not working. <laughs> but yeah, we gonna save all of this for the show because I feel like it's gonna be some good episodes. This fight is really not that long. I think it's like an hour. So yeah, see you in Ohio. And it's time I to get pre boarded pre boarded Let's see if I still got it. Oh boo! Wait, let me try it again. Yeah, that was better. Good job. <laughs> I like that you guys do this. What's up, y'all? I have made it to my room. And I'm about to go give me something to eat. Because what I do love, I hope this air is not blowing right here. Hold on, let me see. Dang, okay. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. Because you behind the air blowing. I'm in front of the air blowing. Anyways. I made it to my room. The flight was super short, and you see, I had some fun in the Dayton, Ohio airport. I like, I love the airport because the airport always got the good snacks, and they be like real engaging. So that was fun. But anyways, I'm back. I'm in the hotel, and what I do love is that they booked this hotel in a cute little shopping center where it's a Kroger's next door, and it's a whole bunch of restaurants right in the front. So I don't have to Uber anywhere. I got on my comfortable walking shoes. <laughs> Dang, my foot look big as <laughs> I got on my walking shoes, so I'm about to just walk and grab me something to eat. Maybe go sit at a bar. Maybe do a little work or whatever. But, yeah, it's a light day. We don't have to be on set till tomorrow. So, I'm just going to go grab something to eat, kick it, and then come back to the room. They do have a, a movie theater right here, though. So, I might go catch a movie. But I don't even know what's out right now that I would want to see. So, who knows? Oh, no. I'm going to watch Woman King on my iPad on Netflix because I haven't seen it. That's what I'm going to do tonight. Mm, 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 mm. Treat myself to a little date. But anyways, okay. I'm going to let my stuff charge up. And I'll be back after we grab food. Okay, guys. So, this is my makeup for the day. I ended up having to do it myself, which I didn't do that bad. Um, but the makeup artist that was scheduled to do our makeup definitely didn't show up. And I didn't do nothing last night. After I went and got that food, I came back. I fell asleep basically into a food coma. <laughs> 
And then I woke up late, like at like nine o'clock and just did work, prepped my vlog for this week and YouTube stuff. And then I went back to sleep around 12 o'clock. So I'm up, it is 9.15 and I'm about to head to set. So see you guys, I'm gonna bring y'all with me to set. Per I did pretty good on this makeup though. I look good, proud of myself. That's a tip too always be prepared because had i not brought my makeup because they said somebody was gonna do my makeup i would have been assed out because somebody didn't do my makeup so be prepared that's trick someone said it's only to keep it to the technically this is holding literally because that conversation if we see it they're running shit. What up though if you see it happening if, you oh, see it, if we see it happen they feed us i have breakfast I that's my that for right. say hey y'all yeah. We were just on a show together, arguing with each other. Now we about to sit here and just chit chat. Chop it up, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're getting ready for the second filming. Oh, Shout yeah, out to yeah, Ace, yeah. this is okay, the guy that's putting it all together, uh, the moderator. What's your name? Six, nice to meet you, Six. I'm Bree. Mr. Let Go. What's going on, y'all? Yeah, we got kidding. Don't leave me out. Who else? Oh, and Keita's on this episode. She's over there getting my Ready to wait? No. I think it was the production, the crew. We just in here, just a bunch of agreeing and disagreeing people. It's like, well, I feel like this. And I feel like this. And my opinion is right because. <laughs> Man, that's that's the right. camera doing oh, you your service. Take, huh? You got the light hitting the right way. Yeah, it looks Is that good. the TikTok filter you got on your face or is that your real face? No, this is Ooh, my real face. Is that that's that's this is my real wow. face. This is the regular iPhone camera. That's not her real face. Don't fucking play with me. Wow. I look like this in real life. It does it because it makes my skin look so terrible on TikTok. I gotta meet you on TikTok. I'm the regular. This is me in real life. No, don't be as long as I good, as long as I got some good lighting, I'm cute. Now it's when lighting get weird. Wait, so you ain't cute in the dark? Yeah. Now I figured out that I only look good so when my camera takes the pictures. And I wanna say. This corner just got the light, baby. This corner got the light. What's up, y'all? I can't stand the rain. Okay, no. Just be serious. What's up, y'all? It is day two of being in Ohio. We um, filmed all day yesterday. Well, this is actually day three. I'm in Ohio, but day two of filming. So, it's the last day that I'll be filming as well. And I'm really excited. Um, two of my homegirls from Atlanta are here. Medina and Kiki. You see, I switched up the hair. I threw a little curl in there. Give it a little body. You know, for the girls. The makeup artist did make it today, so she did my makeup. It looks really good, but it's like the lighting is so weird. You can't really see, but she did her big one. It's really the lighting. I look kind of pale. When I step back, it kind of shows the makeup. But anyways, it is 10 a.m., 10.30 a.m., and I just Uber eats me some um, breakfast food. I'm going to grab that, and then I'm going to head to set, and it's going to be another long day of filming. The grind don't stop. And then I have a 6 a.m. flight. I don't know what made me ask for that flight. Like, I wasn't thinking. Cause then that means I have to be up at four, which means who's gonna take me to the airport? I, 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 I didn't think this out. I didn't think this out. What was I thinking? Anyways, hopefully I make it home, okay? But I'll keep you guys posted and of course see you guys on set. With my boo. Hey, Kita. Hey. She's talking that shit. Period. You already know. Talking and so much, I don't know what I'm saying. Hello. You know, she knows what she said. Hey. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, happy Sunday. I just landed back in Atlanta. Um, I had a fun, long, dope weekend in Ohio. And we're going to debrief about it. So, first, I am proud of myself 
for landing in Atlanta at 8 a.m., going to get my car, and coming straight to church. I'm headed to church now. I think I might get there a little bit early um, for the 10 o'clock service, but this is the first Sunday that I have been off work, um, off and didn't have, didn't have to go to the radio and, or didn't have to work another job in seven years. So when my homegirl Shekinah and Megan invited me to church this morning, well, they invited me yesterday or Friday or whatever. They're like, you want to go to church? I was like, wow, maybe I should go and actually do church in the house of the Lord, the Lord because I have the opportunity to do so and I haven't been able to prioritize that time in his house in years so the so when I'm proud of me for being like okay I'm gonna go to church on my first Sunday off I'm gonna go to church also I'm proud because I didn't get any sleep um my flight left Dayton Ohio at six in the morning so i had to wake up i was supposed to wake up at three i didn't wake up till four I rushed to the airport you know what i'm saying so i'm sleepy but and even when i woke up on off the plane like when the plane landed and i woke up i was like whoa i am so sleepy i don't think i think i should not go to church right i think i shouldn't go because i don't want to fall asleep in church like what god prioritized me so like why can't i prioritize him above a nap right so then i get in my car and my key was saying like the car wouldn't crack because it was saying like my key battery was not my key wasn't in my car i don't know it was been weird for like 10 15 minutes and i'm like come on god like the devil trying to make me not get to church but get what they, i was gonna say they crunk up but let me not say they were okay so anyways the car crunk so eventually, I don't know if it had to warm up, the key had to warm up or what, but the car is cranked, okay? So I'm headed to church, still. So I'm proud of myself for, <clears throat> and then the church that I'm going to, I, they didn't tell me that it was 45 minutes away from the city. So at first I was like, dang, that's far. But it's like, God don't ever tell me I'm too far to cover me. He just covered me going to Dayton, Ohio. What if he was like, dang, Bri, I only look out for you when you in Atlanta. Can't even do it. Ohio ain't even my tears. Like, what? So it's like, I can go to 45 minutes outside the city to go to church. You know what I mean? And spend time with him. So I'm proud of me for, like, just being optimistic and, and resilient with spending this time with him today. So I'm hoping, I feel like the word going to be even better because it was made for me and meant for me to be here. And it was so hard for me to overcome to be here, right? So then, too, um, I learned this weekend in Ohio how people from other places think and it's so rare um that i get to leave atlanta for work now i've been like i'm starting to but i'm learning that atlanta is a very unique and odd place in a lot of ways and so but also people outside or in the world have some unique and very odd ways of thinking right so i was around a bunch of group of men and we have been filming and so we've been having mature conversations about heavy topics, some light, whatever. And you can, you know, the more you talk to somebody, you can tell whether they're smart, intelligent by the way they articulate themselves and their viewpoint on a lot of things. So afterwards, some guys are like, you're very pretty, obviously. And from talking to you, you're pretty smart. So they like, you cute, basically, and you smart and you in your 30s and you kind of got your shit together why you not married or why you don't got no kids what's wrong with you and i'm like as much as y'all just preached about how single motherhood is like damn near the worst shit ever next to aids now i don't believe this but this is how niggas be they everybody hate their baby mama Everybody think that being a fatherless child is the worst thing in the world and dads are so and more important than a mother. Like all of these men were making these points right the entire weekend. But the fact that I had signed up for single motherhood and I also haven't been married made me less than a human being and as a woman. And I'm like, well, damn, I've accomplished so much. I'm like, I've accomplished so much. Why does my uh, status or ability or value as a woman, why is it held in whether or not I'm married or have a child? And it's like, 
that's really how a lot of people think. So it's like, it's, it was mind blowing to me because I'm like, I thought I was doing the right thing by waiting to have children. Or I thought I was doing the right thing by dating with the intentions to be married. But it's like, last time I checked as a woman, I can't propose to myself. So if these niggas got to propose to me, why are we asking what's wrong with them? If I'm all of these amazing things that you just said, why wouldn't one of these men want to be in a committed relationship? Why? Because they, a lot of men now don't want to be committed. And or y'all telling me I should also not want to date a man on my same level. Oh, and then the battery would be about to die. That's so eggy. Boo, tomato, tomato, tomato. There's chairs on his last leg, literally. Hopefully I can make it through the video. Okay. <clears throat> so, your girl went crazy on Amazon lately and I just wanted to show y'all all the goodies that I got. So, let's do a little Amazon haul. Period, because all the goodies are starting to roll in. First off, you know I'm back filming on the regular. So, with that means I'm wearing a lot of makeup. You can see I'm breaking out. Well, this is the period pimple, so that don't count. But I had to re-up on my makeup removers. And I got it in the big pack and in the individual packs because I like to keep these in the car. Sometimes when you, and these are like the single wipes. Sometimes when you on the go or you've been filming when I'm getting off work, I'm like, I can't wait to get home and take my makeup off. So why not take it off on the way home? That's how I be thinking. So I got these for my car. I'm gonna put them in the car. Oh yeah, all this stuff I'm gonna put on my Amazon link and I'll link it below. This is a new extension cord. You can kind of see, I got this for the living room because I'm one of those people who have a charger for every room and please don't move my charger. Please don't move it. So like this is for the charger for the phone and for the um, computer. It has three on there and if you bring a charger you need to plug something up, you can plug something up else on there as well. My other one had got overheated randomly and like blew up. Very dangerous. So that's that. Oh, now I've been wanting, oh, this not it. Okay, so I also got, I had to re-up on my Travel Venus Shaver. I like this because it's so small. That's the handle. And then it came with three refillable blades because I could just take this on the go with me. And it's cute if it in my makeup bag and my travel size bag. So I'm just stay ready, you know? I had to re-up on those. All of these things, again, can be found on Amazon. Oh, I got these hair clips, right? And they came in so many cute colors. Let me show you. I already opened it and used the black one. So these different shades of new of brown and then that black as well. And it came with like each color in this style, like the claw clip. And then also each color in the like square style. I like them both. And perfect for like working out, on the go, bad hair days, throw your hair up. And I just like the neutral colors because they go with everything, you know? Since we are still in beauty, I got me some Myel hair growth oil because I got to see what the hype is about. The Myel Rosemary Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. It helps improve length retention, invigorates and nourishes hair follicles, conditions dry scalp, smooth split ends. I did order this off of Amazon because I'm lazy. I hate going to the store. So I just wanted to see what this smell good. And I'm taking this braid out between today and tomorrow, so we'll do a real treatment. Smell good though. I like the way that smells. Okay, boom. Next. Oh, here's on the black. That's the black clip. So since we still in beauty, I also um, got this leave-in molecule repair hair mask by K18. I heard this is better than the um, Olaplex. Somebody said if you like Olaplex, this was way better than Olaplex. So hair like new in four minutes. So we gonna try it out. When I take this out, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use that in my new Myel. Just see what it's giving, you know? Now this is something that I've been wanting for a while and I broke down and bought it on Amazon. Let me show you guys. Dang, if I could get it open. So I got me a Jade face roller. And you know, people be using these to do like this. Go up and like tone your face and stuff. I don't really want to do too much. I want to wash, but 
it off and stuff before, but oh, you can even use it for like it's a massager. You can use it for your face, back, legs, shoulders. It's not just for your face. It just depends on like chin. Oh yeah. Oh, you can get rid of that double chin. Okay. And like massage. I'm really into my skincare regimen right now, so this is something I definitely wanted to have. So I have that. Comes with this cute little wipe and a little case little thing for it and it has like a how to use i'm gonna keep this because it came with a scannable barcode so it's like a video on how to do it it makes your face younger and elastic more elastic it's made out of jade promoting absorption of skincare products corrects body posture and, and releases muscle tension if you use it on your back so i need that i'm gonna put that back in there because i want to read that and use use the link to do that shout out to that this is the stuff i'm gonna use immediately and make sure is that all my beauty stuff oh no really quick in the beauty department while i was traveling to ohio i broke my curling iron so and it was a connor curling iron similar to this one but it was just pink so i just had to re-up and get another one it's the infinity be the pro infinity pro by conair it goes up to 400 degrees, which you don't really need more than that on your hair. Um, but it's just a go-to, simple, basic curling iron. I can do so much with this style. It has like the little clip. And I don't know how to curl my own hair. It's just something I needed. It wasn't expensive at all. I think it was like $20. But I just needed to get another one. And the last one did last me like years. Probably like six, seven years. So it's like the same thing equivalent. Same brand and everything. It's just not pink. So... I was like, oh, let me get the same thing I already had. And this one is a one and a half inch curling iron. So that's all the new beauty stuff I bought. Now, since we are talking about beauty, let's talk about the bathroom. I just got this new fast drying mat for when I get out the shower. It says get naked. I just want to see if it really dries that fast. It does feel soft and like welcoming. I just found this. I don't know. Like I just keep hearing about these fast drying mats. So I just want to see if it works. So I got that for the bathroom. Now moving into home and stuff. I got a new candle kit because my other one. I, well, I never really had the full kit. I have the lighter that Jackie O gave me. But I wanted to have the full kit. So you know this came with the little thing you use to put your candles out so that it doesn't add the soot to it you just put this right on top and it covers it i think that's dope what is this part for but this is a wick cutter a wick trimmer which i always wanted one of these and never had so it's a really cute cool set it's rose gold and i think this is like a great gift for a candle lover too so i'll add this to my amazon list and um again put the link below so this is like something inexpensive i think this set was like 20 bucks like everything was pretty cheap that's why i went crazy a candle trimmer a candle dipper and a candle snuffer this is the trimmer this is the snuffer i guess this is the dipper to like dig in if your if the wick gets stuck in the wax i think that's what this is for i'm gonna use all of this probably tonight as well okay so moving on so much stuff guys i want this is ridiculous okay so my car is in the shop right now but when my car gets out the shop i cannot wait to use this new um dashboard holder for my camera because i wanted to vlog as i drive sometimes so i got this new like little i hope i know how to install it baby because Basically, it goes on your dashboard so you can hold the camera up and I can vlog hands-free. That's for the car, so I can't wait to use that. Also, for my car, I missed... Okay, so my old Mercedes used to have this, but now I got the Porsche and it didn't have it. So, I was like, dang, I really do need this. And I used it so much, but basically, it goes on the back of your seat and it's a purse hook. So your purse never has to fall over. And I got black because my interior is black, but they did come in different colors and it's leather like my interior as well. So it just hooks onto the back of the headrest, like at the top, and then you just 
put your purse on this hook right there like i can't wait to put these on both sides so even when my guests get in my car they can reach over behind me and put their purse on the purse hook right there as well that is so classy oh that's so classy i can't wait to put that in my car girl like i said they were inexpensive as well and they came in different colors which i love so it matched the interior also for my car because i'm trying to do better just by keeping everything neat organized i got this because of tiktok honestly but keeping things clean as well this is super clean car gel this basically absorbs dirt and dust in your car it's like gunk and you just roll it around in and it'll grab all the dirt and stuff i don't want to like i don't really have dirt on my hand but i just don't want to make it not sticky but it's a elasticity cleaner and you put it in like your cup holder the vents and it just like sucks up all of the dirt you can also use it for like your office clean your keyboards calculators things like that like it's multi-use and then it goes by the color like it's reusable multiple times but it came with two in there so that was a pretty good deal as well then because i love you guys so much and i care about y'all and i want to continue to keep y'all up to date i got me a new holder for the tripod a new tripod for my camera because the last one that i was using was so loose necky i was over it but it did come with the kind that it's a multi-use tripod i can use it for my phone as well so i'm really excited to like just i'm just growing as a vlogger and content creator and just getting all the tools that i need necessary to continue to be consistent and bring great quality content like i just want to get better and better at this this is a job okay and like any job you must continue to grow elevate and improve yourself at your job and i think this is the last thing i went through all of that stuff pretty quick i think but i had to get this because again still trying to be clean organized and i want to clean out my purse sometime this week i got a purse ball so this is a, a bag cleaning ball basically you just throw it in your purse and roll it around and it picks up the dust the same way that that little gunk does inside of there so uh, then you take it out oh and then you can just rinse it off just open the ring rinse the ball with a little washing of liquid and close it again Oh, I love that this is reusable. I love that. So I never had to buy another one. Super, super dope. You just put it in your purse, roll it around, and it'll collect all the dust and crumbs out of it. Because you know, the bottom of your purse can get really crummy. Really crummy. So yeah, I'm excited about all my new little gifts. It feels like Christmas. Adult Christmas when you get in stuff that you need to clean up. And it's like, who have I become? I'm a whole grown up out here. <laughs> anyways y'all that is all the stuff that i got from amazon of course i will link it below with my amazon list and you guys can shop these if y'all want you know let's get organized let's get clean let's get pretty let's grow our hair out let's do all of that stuff together okay okay guys thank you for watching yet another vlog or video from me it is brie renee straight from the a until next time thank y'all for watching make sure you are liking commenting below and subscribing to every single video well subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video whether it's a mommy and me monday meaningful conversations on wednesdays and you know i'm bringing you the vlogs on the weekends you like nine to five i'm the weekend all right no that's just a concert had me too lit okay but anyways bring it back until next time guys i love y'all thank y'all so much for tuning in see you later <laughs>